My name is Dr. Fred Schuring. I'm a lecturer in uh, early modern English literature. I uh, mostly teach Shakespeare uh, and a number of other writers from the uh, period in which he was uh, working. Uh, everyday words and phrases uh, that we're all familiar uh, with but don't necessarily know that they might uh, come from Shakespeare. So if you might uh, say for example uh, that you've had an eventful day uh, or uh, that uh, you're waiting for somebody's answer with bated breath uh, or something like that. You might say to somebody they go on a wild goose chase uh, or you might talk about your salad days at university uh, when all was so much um, much better and nicer. Um, you can think of countless other examples and actually countless itself is a word that uh, that comes from uh, Shakespeare as well. There are really two reasons for, for this. One is that, that Shakespeare was clearly really creative with, uh, with language, really original, uh, really putting things together in ways that uh, nobody had before that and uh, since that that's, that's been kind of picked up on and uh, become part of the, the language. There's also of course uh, the way in which Shakespeare himself has become a kind of cultural icon uh, in, in our own culture and as a result of that uh, people have been going back to his, uh, his work over and over again uh, so that's been another big kind of contributing factor to, uh, to his status in the language today. And I think we still think that Shakespeare is of course uh, unique in the way in which he uses language, uh, but actually some uh, new research working with electronic databases and with the, the most kind of recent techniques is showing that uh, a lot of his contemporaries working in the theatre uh, were equally being very, uh, very creative with language and they were coining uh, new words at similar rates to, uh, to Shakespeare. I guess what really sets Shakespeare apart though is the way in which he uses uh, those words and sometimes really simple words. I mean maybe the most uh, famous, uh, famous phrase from Shakespeare anywhere is to be or not to be. Those are not complicated words but it's the way in which he uses them.